Hey guys, let's get more news from Steelers, but first, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave your like. Steelers' Najee Harris admits Pittsburgh didn't adjust to Bill's defensive game plan. The Pittsburgh Steelers are currently reeling from their wild card elimination at the hands of the Buffalo Bills. From all the drama about Mike Tomlin's status with the team to Najee Harris's comments about needing more discipline and structure, all does not seem well in Steel City at the moment. Harris, in particular, revealed another aspect that may have contributed to Monday's game result. The running back spoke to the media and disclosed that the Steelers expected Buffalo to run a too-high defense, something the Bills have shown throughout the season. However, Sean McDermott decided to go with a one-high, adding an extra safety near the line of scrimmage to slow down the Steelers' run game. Harris then revealed that Pittsburgh's counter-strategy was to run it anyway, per Steelers' now's Nick Farbo. The running back finished with just 37 rushing yards on 12 carries in a game that was postponed a day late due to a snowstorm. It also didn't help that the Steelers had no answer to Josh Allen. The Bills quarterback put on a clinic, throwing three touchdown passes and adding a 52-yard touchdown run. Overall, Allen accumulated 277 yards, 203 passing and 74 rushing. On the other hand, Mason Rudolph threw for 229 yards and two touchdowns, but it was not enough for the Steelers to overcome the early lead built by Buffalo. Early in the second quarter, the Bills saw themselves up 21-0. Rudolph's two touchdown passes and a field goal by Chris Boswell cut the lead down. However, Josh Allen's final touchdown pass to Khalil Shakir in the fourth sealed the game for Buffalo. Najee Harris and company now enter the offseason and await the decisions that the Steelers organization will decide on moving forward. Jalen Warren expecting pending free agent QB Mason Rudolph to be back in 2024. With the question of head coach Mike Tomlin's status for the 2024 season informally settled, two glaring questions remain. The more immediately solved is who the Pittsburgh Steelers' next defensive coordinator will be. The less immediate is who their next quarterback will be. And they can start by figuring out which quarterbacks will be on the roster. The one we know with certainty, and the one who seems most likely to be given the opportunity, is Kenny Pickett, the two-year veteran who lost his starting role late in the 2023 season due to injury. The one fans want back is the man who replaced him, Mason Rudolph. But he's a free agent and many insist that he secretly hates the team for all the wrongs inflicted upon him. He was expecting to be gone in 2022, and perhaps he would have, if any other team had offered him a contract. The market will be different this time around after getting the chance to play, but will he be back in Pittsburgh anyway? Once again, I want to give the full context in this instance by including the two-part question he was asked. What did you see out of Mason the last four weeks, was posed to him. Do you hope that he's a guy that comes back, maybe competes for the starting job? I don't feel confident enough to extrapolate from Warren's somewhat jumbled response that he was specifically saying he expected Rudolph to be in competition for the starting job. Perhaps he did, but I don't want to go out on that limb and put those words in his mouth. But I think at least it's clear that he is anticipating seeing Rudolph in the locker room in 2024. Not that he necessarily knows much more than we do. It's up to Rudolph and his agent and Omar Khan and Mike Tomlin and Art Rooney too. A six-year veteran, Rudolph started the final three games of the 2023 season and led the team to three much-needed wins. He went 55-474 passing for 719 yards with three touchdown passes to zero interceptions, averaging 9.7 yards per attempt with a 118 quarterback rating. It was enough to earn the starting spot in the playoffs over Pickett, the Steelers coming up short, 31-17, after digging a 21-0 hole. Rudolph finished the game 22-439 passing for 229 yards with touchdown passes to Deontay Johnson and Calvin Austin 3, with one interception in the end zone, which proved a pivotal moment in the game. At least as we sit here today. I anticipate that Warren will be correct and that we will see Rudolph back in Pittsburgh for his seventh NFL season. Whether he'll be in an open competition for the starting job, I have no idea. However it plays out, I wish him the best, provided that his best doesn't come against the Steelers.
PFF thinks Baker Mayfield is one free agent Steelers should pursue. It feels very likely that Mayfield will stick around with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, but on the off chance that he does hit free agency, the Steelers should be the first team to pick up the phone, McGinnis writes. While Mayfield hasn't lived up to the billing of being a former number one overall pick, he is back at the level of his second and third seasons with the Cleveland Browns, earning a 74.6 PFF grade with 25 big-time throws and 24 turnover-worthy plays in the 2023 regular season. Mayfield bounced around the league in 2022, spending time with the Carolina Panthers and Los Angeles Rams, but he revived his career with Tampa Bay this season. The Bucks didn't have high expectations in the post-Tom Brady era, but Mayfield beat out Kyle Trask for their starting job and led them to the playoffs, and they'll face the Detroit Lions on Sunday. Mayfield threw for 4,044 yards and 28 touchdowns this season and threw for 337 yards and three touchdowns in a wild-card round win over the Philadelphia Eagles. Pittsburgh's former division rival with the Cleveland Browns would be an upgrade at quarterback for the Steelers. The question is whether the Steelers want to end the Kenny Pickett era without giving him a chance in his third season. Pickett only played a game and a half before getting hurt after Pittsburgh fired former offensive coordinator Matt Canada, and he ended up losing his starting job after Mason Rudolph played better than any Steelers quarterback has in years when he took over in Week 16. It doesn't feel like a move Pittsburgh would make to bring in an outside veteran starter, but Mayfield would be an upgrade over the version of Pickett we saw in 2022. I'm not ready to completely write off Pickett yet, but if the team does retain him as a starter, he's going to have to show real growth under whomever Pittsburgh hires as its new offensive coordinator. If he can't do that, the team is going to look for his replacement either internally or next offseason. Pickett can't afford to struggle the way he did this season, and those struggles could end up costing him his job if the Steelers look for an outside solution such as Mayfield. And you fan, what do you think of the Baker Mayfield situation? Leave your opinion in the comments.